Hi, Phil here for DJ Tech Tools. Today I'd like to show you a method to control Serato Itch with an external controller. By external, I mean a controller other than the proprietary controller. How do we do that? Well, Itch only accepts three types of inputs from its proprietary controller, from the mouse, and from the keyboard. What I'll show you today is how to map a MIDI fighter through a MIDI translator into keystrokes that Itch will accept. Itch's keyboard mapping is not extensive, but there's enough functions in there that we can do something interesting. Things like hot cues for cue juggling, we can do some simple loops. There's also a dedicated find and record button, which are of interest to me because there are no specific buttons for that on the DX face. For our MIDI translator, we're going to use a very small application called MIDI Stroke, which is available for free on the internet. The MIDI mapping that you see in here has pre-assigned numbers down the left side. These are notes from the MIDI fighter and each one is associated with a keystroke that you can see on the right hand side. The only button left not programmed in this mapping so far is the lower left button on the MIDI fighter which we're going to use for hot cue one on the left deck. I don't know what that number is, what that MIDI note number is, so let me use another little program here called MIDI monitor. In MIDI monitor I'm watching what's happening press the note and I see that it comes up as note 36 on channel 3. Come back over to MIDI stroke, create a new button, defaults to 45, but that's fine, we'll change that to 36. Make sure that we're on channel 3. We don't need to set the value because we're not dealing with CCs here, here we're only dealing with notes. Now I'll assign a new keystroke to that button, defaults to Z, we'll change that to 1 to correspond with the itch keystroke. Press enter to register it. Make sure that my source is set to my MIDI fighter. Now I can go back to itch, where I have a track loaded on deck one that already has four hot cues pre-programmed into it. Press play on that. And here I am, jumping around in my hot cues. Work to treat. Dedicated find button. As you can see in the top right corner, we jump to find. Record button comes on. Recording is started. I turn the recording back off. And that's it. There. Using a simple MIDI to keystroke translator, we can exploit Itch's keyboard mapping to be able to perform some useful functions using an external MIDI controller. Enjoy.